Have you ever wanted a tiller to enhance your flat sim experience? When you look at the price of one, you almost fainted. Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how I went from this to this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is buy a very expensive 3D printer, print all the parts as you've seen on the time lapse on screen. With my printer, which is a Creality K1, it took me around 5 hours to print all the parts I needed for one tiller. When you are done printing, you'll end up with something that looks like this. So in addition to the 3D parts, which you just printed, you'll need the following. You'll need two times 6001RS bearings. One Arduino Pro Micro processor. one rotary encoder or uh, potentiometer simple PBS 110 push button for pedal disconnect Finally, you'll need 22 M3 by 8 flat, screw, flat screws. Alright, now we're all set to begin the assembly. I've sped up this process slightly, but uh, during the assembly, you'll see me, uh, you know, installing the bearings and the shafts and. Uh, uh, getting the whole assembly to come together. So I'll shut up, enjoy the build process.
All right, now that it's all done and assembled, as you can see on screen, I will be taking it to my PC, hooking it up via USB, opening up the Arduino software, writing the code and uploading it onto the processor so that the processor knows exactly what uh, the switch and the rotary encoder are supposed to represent when you plug it into the sim. But I'll spare you that uh, nonsense. Uh, there's a lot of videos on how to program Arduino boards. We're just gonna do this off screen and we'll see you in the sim. As you can see, I have my tiller hooked up to my left side, right next to my light stick. As you can see, my button for the pedal disconnect works flawlessly. Same with the uh, twist action. Let's take a look at one of the outside views here. I cannot tell you how more realistic this makes your flight simulator experience. Here I'm showing you guys how the pedals have an effect on the nose wheel unless you press the pedal disconnect and now you can do your flight control checks with your rudder pedals without affecting the way the plane is taxing. And once you're done, you can just press it again. And there it is. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the build. I wanted to kind of share this. This is not a tutorial by any means. Uh, this is just me sharing with you all what you can do if you put your mind into it. And obviously, if you have all the tools required. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to share it comment in the video. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun, peace out.